we're going to start with the color side up and fold the paper diagonally in both directions. Turn the paper around and fold it in half in both directions. Once you've done those creases, you push on the paper and you get a preliminary base. Then we're going to work on this half of the model and later on you'll have to do exactly the same on the other half. So you're going to take one of these flaps and you're going to um, squash fold them so you kind of get something like this. Okay. Then we take this edge and fold it to the center. Like so. And then connecting this point and that point, you're going to do a mountain fold here. So you've got this point and you've got that point and you're doing a mountain fold connecting those two. So you get this. Then you're going to do an angle bisector on this side. Just bring this one over to the other side and crease it a bit. And then you're going to fold this back that you're going to fold the angle bisector you just folded and on here you're naturally going to get another angle bisector so you can see this is what you get and then we do this on the other side Then these two points we're going to connect with an open fold. And then we've got this point and that point and this point and all of those three you're going to bring up there to the to the um, top of the model. So bringing these two points right up there, this one is going to be raised too. So you've kind of got a flap there. Press that down. Then if you fold this to one side, you want to do an inside reverse fold here on this triangle. do is a nice inside reverse fold. So this is what you get. And that flap is still here. Right. Now we turn the model around and we do the same thing as before. When you're done with that side, you're going to fold it on the same side 
as the other flap. And then <coughs> we're going to um, fold this edge to the center and the same with this one. Like so. Turn the model over, do it on that side too. Then <coughs> you've got these flaps down here. Inside there, we're going to do an inside reverse fold. So it maybe looks like this. These are going to be the feet. Do that on the other side too. And on the second one, kind of try to make the inside reverse fold look the same as the first one. Okay. So we've got this. Next we're going to fold the neck upwards. We're going to do um, mountain folds here. And then valley folds like along the spit. So this is our the mountain folds, and here you do valley folds, and then it sticks up like that. And the bottom, we're going to open in the bottom and fold upwards in an outside reverse fold, so it matches up with the other one. You kind of wrap it around the other one and then down there just push the motor together. Okay, next <coughs> you're going to um, this neck, going to do a reverse fold. This is going to be the head. Okay, so then here you're going to do a mountain fold and then a valley fold, basically a crumb fold, right next to each other. You get something like that. And then we can actually finish this up already. Open this a bit got like folds in there that you can open up and the top might want to point down a bit. Okay, then um, these legs down here are a bit too thick. Let's just do mountain folds. Okay, just fold them a bit. Then you're going to fold these wings forward as far as they go, both sides. And then in an angle, going to fold them back, maybe like so. See, that's the angle I chose. Just fold it back. Other side, same angle. And then down here, fold the feet. Both of them. Just a simple valley fold. Then open up these wings a bit. Open up. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Open up the back a bit, nice and round, and there's your finished pelican.